Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Nigerians react as Femi Fani Kayode demands independence from Nigeria. Says, keep your 2023 presidency. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I mean, it's about time. Everybody's talking about this. I think it's time for Nigeria to really break up because the evil that is going on in the country is too much. And the governments are aiding and assisting the evildoers to continue and even giving them a blank check. Femi, Femi Fanikayode has been a very vocal critic of the present government and has not hesitated to lash out on the president or his handier any time the need arises. In a very special ad boss today, he inferred that some people were trying to bribe the southern part of Nigeria with 2023 presidency. He said that the south is more interested in restructuring or outright independence. With what is going on, we are not interested. Many of his followers are of the opinion that indeed he is right, that before anything, the restructuring of Nigeria must take place. Why some see him as an oppo opportunist who lost out in the political power str struggles and decided to be a self stiff opposition to the current regime and administration. I think Femi Fani Kayode is just confirming what Biafra has been saying all along. It's time for Nigeria to really break up because what is going on is terrible. You know, the government aiding evil to continue in the community, lives and property destroyed, and nobody's saying anything. Rather, they are asking for an agency to be built for Boko Haram. This is not done in any race, country, or people. And so, I think Fani Kayode is absolutely right. Well, that's my opinion. It, you have your opinion, and I believe I'm entitled to my opinion. Because see what thing they happen now. People, they die every day. The government is not consigned them. They don't care. So what do you expect people to say? They are trying to bribe the, the South. Some of them, let me tell you, the North are very clever. Don't think that these people, they are, they are dummy. They are not. They are not. Get it straight. They are not. They know exactly what they are doing. They've used, they are using the RFI to say, we're not supporting the North for 2023. It has to go to the South. The North has had the power for eight years to, to tickle those in the South, to make them feel like these people are interested in them and wants to release power. The power is not in the hand of them to decide. What is democracy? Is it not supposed to be the people deciding who they want their leader to be? It's only in Nigeria they tell you that the, what, the, what you're going to do out in the post that counts. Does it really count? Because they themselves take print their own uh, paper and sign, and that's what they present to INEC, and the whole process is all messy, and they continue their own circle of evil that they do. So who is deceiving who? Who is deceiving who? Like, seriously, who is really deceiving who? Exactly. You know, so if anybody is calling for the breakup, like um, Unandikano has been crying for, I don't see any, I don't, I don't, I don't think he's wrong. I don't think he's wrong. If Unandikano speaks about what the government is doing, is a threat to national security. If Showare speak of what is going on and that the youth should rise up and take their place and refuse these old people recycling and leading us with no vision, Nigeria not going anywhere, it says a threat to nationality, to the nation. To the nation. What about Meiti Allah? Openly declaring and talking about that he's sending people from outside Nigeria to come and destroy the lives of Nigeria property and to take over. What has the government done? They did not hear this statement. Because your president is more interested in cattle rearing more than lives. So you can see where their true interests lie. And you know the funniest thing? All of them in politics are a bunch of wicked set of people. Look at even those from the South, your senators, House of Reps, those that were in the arms of legislation. When they go there, what they are crying for, and we don't want refurbished cars, we want new cars, our increment in our hearing sitting, our salary is too small. You give the common man how much for, 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 for minimum wage, yet you are clamoring for more and more increase. Are you serving or you are being served? So that's why Nigerian political system is a place where people go to 
enrich themselves. That's why they can do anything. They can kill, kidnap, do everything, you know, evil. Even join the courts. Not, if you know what is going on in Nigerian politics, that's why they are calling it a dirty game. But guess what? They are trying to make it like that so that we, the youth, cannot come in and take over. But they lie. We will go in there and we'll decide and we'll show them how true politics work. We'll go in there, we'll be diligent, we'll start. The thing is, you cannot stay outside and say you are involved. You have to get involved. Register with a political party. It starts from there. Get registered. Get into a political party. From there, you can signify your interest. So if anybody says they want the country to divide, I don't blame them. I don't blame them at all. And um, I, I believe in this case, everybody is entitled to their opinion. So I'm not going to fault you if you feel that Nigeria should stay together. And I don't think you should fault me if I think that we should go our separate ways because uh, of the issues happening. You can see those at the top sponsoring these people and giving them amnesty and even uh, encouraging them to carry out more evil in the life of the people that you say you are governing. So I don't understand what exactly these people are doing. I don't understand it. So if they say they want to separate, oh, oh, well and good. But again, they don't want it to separate because of their gains, what they are gaining, what they are gaining from Nigeria, you know, what they are gaining from the South-South. Uh, they don't want it to separate so that they can come and infiltrate. Look at what is happening all over. They went to Delta, a community, did no clash, nothing, just started killing people, got into their bush, even having interrogation with the police. So the Delta people have said, you know what, we are not eating your meat. So if we are not eating meat, what are you coming to do now? We are not buying. We don't want to buy. Take it away. Go. Aha. Uh -huh. So this will solve the problem. You can see that. You can see the problem they are causing. Making people to even go out of their way. You know, stopping the, you know, Delta State is working now on the legislation. The House is meeting to pass a law that is a sin to eat meat in Delta State. Not because it literally is a sin, but because of this herdsmen. So nobody, everybody knows that in Delta State, we don't eat meat. So if we don't eat a cow meat, we, don't, we, we are not expecting them to come. You see? So these are evil prevailing in the community and in our day-to-day in, in, our day -day in Nigeria. And Buhari will be there pretending like he's naive. Guys, don't get it twisted. This man is a, is a trained military general. Remember, he was trained by the British. He knows exactly what he's doing. He's pretending naive to you just to make you feel that he doesn't know what he's doing. No, 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 no. Outer black lie. He knows exactly what he's doing. He's just pretending to get Nigerians, you know, so when he talks, they think that, no, he's buying time. You know, he has an agenda. He's a very, he has, he has an archaic kind of um, values and mindset, you know. He's very religious and he wants to bring his own, you know, he's a dictator. Uh, please. So Nigerians, this is what is going on. We need to let these people know that um, we are serious. If you are for those, if you are like for the Biafrans that want this evil to stop in Nigeria, you need to rise up. We cannot allow them. Biafra speaks. They say Biafra is, uh, is speaking against national security. What about Meiti Allah? What about headsmen? Those ones are free to carry out evil and perpetration of evil in the community. Nobody has right to touch them. Those ones are exempted from threats of national security. Meiti Allah clearly came out in the open and said, that he's inviting all their brothers from all over uh, Africa to come into Nigeria, that Nigeria was a land given to them by God. Not even a single word from anybody. But anybody makes any statement is illegal. It's national threat, and they catch the person. What have you done to Mighty Allah? It goes to show that where their heart is. It goes to show you what exactly this government is for. They are not government for the people. They are government for the cattle and for their self. You know, Nigerians, please wake up. Cry against insecurity, cry against evil being perpetrated in our community, and let us not allow these people to prevail because they are not out for the common man. They are out for themselves, their pockets, their belly. You can see it in Buhari's life. See what he's doing. Put his, his daughter in a position. You fly now with the presidential jets to go and do what he wants to do. But Nigerians, it is time to rise up and kick up against evil governments in our society and not allow them to prevail. One of the ways you can do that is by liking, sharing, subscribing, clicking on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Don't forget, we love you. We are here to keep you up to date with all that is going on in Nigeria. You have a voice, please use it. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe.
click on the notification button so you can be up to date with all our news. Once again, thank you very much. Don't forget to be security conscious. Look out for one another. Don't allow anything. If you see any strange persons or strange behaviors, please go ahead and speak up. Go ahead and alert people around you. Don't be quiet because they, are, they, don't, they don't care about lives. They only care about their cattle and themselves. Thank you once again. God bless. Bye.